Today I will show you how to upgrade a USR3510 Courier M2M cellular gateway to a USR3520 Courier mode emulator and 3G gateway. To do this we will need the USR3510, a USR3516 mode emulator expansion card, a Torx screwdriver and a 9-pin serial cable. First, we need to remove the existing serial card by removing the Torx screws that fasten the serial card to the base unit. Save these screws for later. Then we need to plug a DB9 metal connector into the mating connector on the serial card and tighten the thumb screws to remove the serial card by pulling the plug or cable. Please be aware that the serial card will deform if it's pulled at the edge, therefore it is very important to use a serial cable to pull it out. With the expansion card in your hand, make sure that the labels are facing up. In this orientation, the card connector is in the right position. Then, slide the card into the slot using the side channels or grooves of the housing to guide the card in place. Make sure that the screw holes are lined up. Finally, secure the card with the screws. Up to now, we have seen how to install the mod emulator expansion card into the Courier M2M cellular gateway. Now, we will see the steps on how to update the radio firmware to complete the upgrade process from a cellular gateway to a courier mod emulator. After you have installed the mod emulator expansion card into your gateway, you'll need to update the firmware and software in the gateway to complete the installation. Open a web browser and go to www.usr.com slash support slash 3520. Choose a country. Scroll to the downloads section and select the bin file to download it. Choose a location on your computer to save the file and save. Once that's complete, click the zip file to download it and save it to the same location. Once that's complete, use a short Ethernet cable to connect your computer to the gateway. You should note at this point that if you've unplugged your computer from the Ethernet port from your local area network, or if you have Wi-Fi, and if your gateway has a cellular connection, your computer's operating system will try to use the gateway Ethernet connection as its route to the Internet. And that could result in excessive data usage on your cellular data plan. In your web browser, enter the IP address 192.168.1.1. Dot one. Enter the default username and password and log in. Use the provisioning tab and scroll to the upload device provisioning file section and click choose file. Navigate to the location in your computer where those files are saved. Select the bin file and open and click upload. and then click Restart. When the login page reappears, 
Enter the default username and password. And log in. Choose the provisioning tab. And scroll or click the menu to the upload device provisioning file and click choose file. This time choose the zip file and open. And click upload and click restart. When the login page reappears, enter the default username and password. Click login. On the home page, scroll down to the system information section and verify that the firmware version and software image version are correctly installed. This completes the installation of the Modemulator expansion card. These were the instructions on how to upgrade the USR3510 Courier M2M cellular gateway to the USR3520 Courier Modemulator and 3G gateway. Thank you very much for watching and thank you for choosing US Robotics.